Continuing the conversation about cat calling, some say it's a form of harassment and it spiked across the country. News 4's Allie Ingersoll looked into the statistics and she is live now in the studio to explain. Allie. Well, Christy, these statistics are really alarming. People as young as 11 are reported being catcalled. And now many com communities, including ours right here in Western New York, are saying enough is enough. When you have a person on the street that you have no idea who they are saying statements about either your body or what you're wearing, or that can be really intimidating. What Crisis Services Director of Advocacy Robin Wiktorski Reynolds is describing is street harassment. Here's the formal definition of it it includes unwanted whistling, comments, or catcalling in a public location. You can see how um, the society might just see it as these isolated incidents. Statistics reflect they're not isolated incidents though. 65% of women and 25% of men say they've been victims of street harassment. It doesn't make it any more acceptable when it's happening to an adult woman or man because it's probably already happened to that person at a younger age. That's what a study from Cornell is showing. Check out this graph. 30% of those who have been catcalled say it first happened when they were just 13 or 14 years old. That's how old Riley Smith was when she says it started happening to her. It's just like more harassment wise. It's not like a compliment. It's, it's rude. It's offensive. That's Nicholas Frank. He's Riley's friend and he says he catcalled someone once but never did it again after being with his friend when it happened to her. Half the time I wish people would just stop and just think about what they're saying to people. What we're setting up is some sort of an indoctrination for young women and young men that this should just be accepted. I think we should make people more aware about it. I don't think people see it as a big deal when it is. Wiktorski Reynolds says not only can this have lasting effects for people who are catcalled, but for people who are victims and survivors of sexual violence, it can be especially triggering. That makes sense. I mean, like we were talking about before, uh, before the newscast, it, it happens so often that you almost, you know, start to not even notice, which, mm -hmm. you know, really is sad. Yeah. Um, and also, you know, this has happened for a long time. So why is this, you know, why are we talking about this now? That's a really great, qu great question. So we're talking about it now for a few reasons. So first out, uh, Todd's been talking about it. It's pretty nice out. So more people right. are going to be heading outside. And that's going to increase the likelihood of this happening to someone. So it's important to bring this up. So second, there's a strong push from the community, so much so that a few states are actually looking to make this a crime. That's pretty intense there. And then last, April is right around the corner. And that Sexual Assault and Violence Awareness Month, Wiktorski Reynolds is actually really encouraging people from our community to stand up for those who are being catcalled during this month and then extending beyond April so that this conversation and this advocacy can continue well beyond that. All right, great. Well, thank you so much, Ellie. Mm -hmm. uh, and we wanted to know what you thought about catcalling. So we asked you on social media and we got a lot of feedback. We got this post from Eric on Facebook and he says, quote, yes, it's harassment and it's just plain disrespectful. One Twitter follower says, quote, personally, I'm starting to think that people need to stop being so sensitive, put on some headphones and ignore it. We also posted a Twitter poll asking, do you consider catcalling a form of harassment? We got more than 400 votes. 59% of you say yes, it is harassment. 41% said no. We want you to join the conversation. You can check out this story in our, our Twitter pages and our Facebook page. You can tweet us back or send us a comment and we might use it on our newscast.